Hi everybody, I'm Mrs Evans and I am the reception teacher here at Little Town School. I'm just sat in the early years playground on the stage area. This is a lovely area full of flowers but it's got a stage area in the middle and you might like to perform some stories on our stage or maybe sing us some songs or do some dancing. I can't wait to see when you start your school. I thought I would introduce you to our school by reading a story. We love books at school and this book is called Starting School and it's by Janet and Alan Alberg. The first day. The children wait in the playground with their mums and dads and brothers and sisters and a puppy. The bell rings. When you start your school, you're going to be starting by the main road and I'll be there at the gate to welcome you in. Mrs Lister will walk you up the side of the building and here's the big red door, the start of your classroom. Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go into the school and meet their teacher. They hang their hats and their coats in the cloakroom, have a look at the toilets and go into the classroom. They sit on the mat with the rest of their class. We have a big carpet in our classroom and that's where we sit as well to listen to some stories, to do our phonics. The teacher calls the register and collects all the dinner money. She shows the children round the classroom. In the classroom there are tables, chairs and drawers for the children to keep their things in. There is a book corner, a home corner, an interest table, a box of dressing up clothes and a baby rabbit in a rabbit hutch. We don't have a rabbit in our classroom but we sometimes have chickens on the field. Chickens are on holiday at the minute and I'm hoping they're going to come back soon. During the morning Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison get used to the classroom and their rabbit gets used to them too. At playtime they go out to play. At dinner time they eat their dinners. In the afternoon they draw pictures, go out to play again and have singing in the hall. I do love to sing. I hope you do too. At the end of the day they tidy up, have a story on the mat, put on their hats and coats and then they go home. On the second day, the next day Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go to school again. In the morning they do a picture and some writing in their books. After that they have music and movement in the hall. Errol's mum plays the piano. At playtime Robert loses his hat but Alison finds it. Errol bangs his knee and the teacher rubs it better. Gavin and Sushma and David climb on the climbing frame. We don't have a climbing frame in our school but we do quite like to go to the park sometimes. In the afternoon, the children make some models. They show them to the head teacher, have a story on the mat, and then they go home. The first week, as the days go by, the children get more used to the school. On Wednesday, they go into the hall for assembly. They listen to the singing and they say a prayer. They watch some older children do a play. On Thursday, they start learning to read. Gavin can read already. He brings his book from home to show the teacher. Errol brings his tooth to show the teacher. It came out in the night. On Friday, they go swimming in the school pool. We don't have a school pool here, but opposite our school, there is a big swimming pool. And if you grow up in, in our school, in the juniors, you'll get to go as well. The water is warm, but not deep. Robert and Sushma and Kate jump up and down. David and Sophie walk in down the steps. Errol thinks about walking in. In the afternoon, Kate and Sushma and David do cooking with David's mum. They make 12 little cakes, three big cakes and one big mess. I love baking. Sometimes we do some baking in school. We've made crumble, we've made buns. Time goes by. The next week, Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison choose a name for the rabbit. They draw rabbit pictures. They make rabbit models, they bake rabbit biscuits, they have a rabbit stories on the mat and do rab lots of rabbit things besides. The week after that, the children have their photographs taken. And the week after that, Gavin loses a glove and Alison learns to swim. 
Sophie reads a book and Sushma shows her sari and her diva lamp. Robert thinks about being in a Halloween play. And sometimes the children are happy, sometimes they're sad, sometimes they're just puzzled or sleepy or grumpy or lumpy or spotty. Sometimes the teacher is not cheerful either. Uh-oh. At the end of term, Christmas comes. In the last week of term, the infants do a play about the baby Jesus. Everybody has a part and all the mums and dads come to watch. On the last day of term, the children bring cakes and crisps, sausages, sandwiches and jellies and have a party in the classroom. Then Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and Kate and David and Robert and Alison, they all go home. And the holiday begins. I hope you enjoyed this book and I cannot wait for you all to start school soon. See you soon. Bye.